I specialise in criminal legal aid and I've been doing that job for about 18 years now. We've got a system now where the, the criminal defence lawyers in particular who do the job out of the passion and the pursuit of justice and they're just watching the justice system erode around them. If vulnerable people are calling and they need help, people in this profession are not going to leave them. And so criminal lawyers do exactly that every single day. I will often spend the day in court dealing with trials or dealing with preliminary hearings and then um, and then I would finish my daily work and then um, go, to, go to work in the police station in the evening and at weekends. We're often turning up uh, last minute to clients who've been um, arrested very recently so they're emo emotional, um, they're often very upset, um, emotional or indeed angry or aggressive about being arrested um, and we're the first people we'll see who will be that friendly face. It's got more tough over the years as the fees have been eroded over the years um, we have to deal with substantially more in terms of volume. So I've got twins who are seven and they've got used to me saying in the morning I'll, I'll be there to pick you up and then they often say will you <laughs> and I and I have to be honest and say well I, I don't actually know I'm going to try my best um, and there are inevitably at least two nights in the week when I have to let them down. I'm 43 I work in Brighton there's not many younger duty solicitors than me uh, in 10 years time there won't be a criminal justice system that there won't be anybody to call. Well that's me done for another day I think till 9am um, thank you for taking the time to listen. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you could take some time to fill in the government consultation. It will really help me as a criminal legal aid lawyer, uh, the victims, the defendants and everyone involved in the criminal justice system. Thank you.